that's over in the construction. Yeah. And and the and so what yeah. would the next one be? Of, um, uh, is it is it actually on there? I don't see the second one. It's not on the. It's, it's not, not on this current sheet. sheet. I wouldn't think we would have it. Do you have an invoice itself? Is it their annual bill? I think well, that might be the. I, wondering, I think that might be their annual fee, which would be. She got. There's a letter attached to that too, which to be just to read it. Well, I think the annual fee is forty five hundred dollars last year. Services from September 25th through October 29th. Uh, that's in the amount of $38,414.20. Uh, and again, that's not on the spreadsheet, and then I'll talk to them about that. She just doesn't have them down on there. So basically, all the bills that need to be paid are not on here? They're not on the spreadsheet. No. Okay. And as I said, it's the first time they've done this on their own, so. <coughs> you were right, Gary, back when it was 4500 last year for the fee. That's when we had all that confusion with the other bills. I think you paid that up, what, this spring, early? Yeah, I, I, I thought that it was paid. Yeah, I thought it was early this year. Yeah. Was thirty-eight thousand four fourteen in reimbursement amount. Uh, that's on the voucher here is thirty thousand seven thirty-one. That's the interest of that. So uh, we'll go ahead and submit that in reimbursement on that also. Dan, can you speak to uh, 
unbox and make sure that it's not confused with the other pit area. Quite frankly, I think that's what it is. I don't know that it involves this. Well, <clears throat> and I'm glad you brought that up because I, uh, and I haven't mentioned anything to anybody yet. It's, I was contacted by uh, Tim Orton, and Tim has been working for the past couple of years on doing the uh, GIS survey of the city, the mapping of the city, utilities, etc. <clears throat> And there's been some confusion on the new TIP district on the, there's a list of parcels that are involved in it, and I wasn't going to bring this up just because it's still up in the air, but there's a list of parcels that are, that pertain to that new TIP area. There's a map that outlines it, there's also a legal description. Um, Mary Dickman has been working on mapping those into the GIS survey, um, and some of them don't match up. There's some pro properties that are on in the legal description that are not on the parcel list, and vice versa. Um, Mary's going to continue to work through that, and um, the concern is that we want to make sure we capture the TIF money that's correct for us out of that district. Um, and when I spoke to Mary today, I asked her to call me when she has her hands around it because she's still working on it. It's still a work in progress. And at that point, I want to go over there with Kathy Reynolds and myself and uh, uh, sit down and, and work that out and make sure that we're all singing out the same book on that. Um, I think it was just some oversights between those three documents. And, but I want to get them ironed out. And while I was talking to Mary about it today, she um, was working on that with them. She did mention that uh, Bridget had uh, uh, made the comment that the county would pay Humbaugh for their services for that. So that could very well be what this is. Okay. Yes. I, I, I'm going to actually be surprised if it's another uh, city. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that fair to say, Mayor? It could be what Ken's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, it, it's the proper thing is not to approve that right now, and, and let's make sure that it's, they're connected to the proper. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any questions on anything from anybody on the committee? Anything from anybody in the? in the audience. We have, we have reduced part of the Armstrong's hours. Um, they have one inspector spending three to four days that was here full time on other jobs in Indianapolis. We have one full time inspector, uh, Mark and myself, supplementing that. And the one guy that comes in one or two days is mostly with the computer records acquired by IDNOT. Last month's invoice may seem a little high, uh, but there was a lot going on with one of the driveways and a lot of baby. So we're, we're keeping track of them and not having to spend an hour meeting us out. Which is so, well, and you brought that up as a good point. I would think that logically, as uh, Omar's hours work falls over the winter, Armstrong's hours are required. We're not having the guys keep here, so we're, we're on top of it. So we Hopefully, then in the future, these next couple of months. For the next few months, I'll probably have. Okay. Appreciate that. Gene, got anything? No, no, thank you. Okay. Um, nothing for old and new business that I know of. Um, the next meeting should fall on December 29th. Um, is that when we want to have it? I'm going to have to uh, ask John to fill in for me because I'm going to be down in Texas for uh, between Christmas and New Year's. Something to keep in mind is we'll, we want to uh, get the grant a report to the mayor again. We did that last year. Right, right, 